morning. How you doing? Today I'm going on BBC breakfast, which is just going to be absolutely insane. Let me check the time for you. Where's well, something with the time on it? My watch. It is currently 10 minutes to 7 in the morning. 10 minutes to 7 for you, that may be early if you go to school or college or work or uni or something. For me, that is just insane, like 10 minutes to 7. Now, when you're on TV, you're not allowed to wear like branding. So I bought a plain white t-shirt, another plain white t-shirt. And then I bought a t-shirt that says Navy on it. But that's kind of not, not really that branding because the company's not called Navy. So I need to decide what to wear, but I also need to do my hair and get ready and everything. Guys, I'm just editing uh, the daily vlog now, and I thought that I would add one extra little clip in, even though this is kind of the next day. Anyways, right tomorrow morning on Wednesday, the 17th of September, which is also my birthday, Amityfest tour tickets come out, sir. So, I don't even know what Amityfest tour is. Basically, me, Marcus, Joe, Casper, Naomi, Louise, Jim, Tanya, and Zoe. I think that is everyone. If I've forgotten one person, I'm so sorry, but I think that is everyone. Uh, we're doing a tour, and we're basically going to do like a little intimate tour first, just to see where you guys want us to go, have a little practice on stage, get to know what you guys want us to do on stage, and just see how everything goes. So, on the 17th of September, which is tomorrow, if you're watching this the day this video comes out, Tickets go on sale. Some of them go on sale at 9 a.m. Some of them go on sale at 10 a.m. So there'll be a link down below right now to where tomorrow morning you can buy tickets to come and see us. Um, I can't remember exactly how we're doing it, but it's only a small little intimate tour. So there won't be many tickets available. So if you want one, you're going to have to get it literally tomorrow morning on the dot or get somebody else to get it for you if you're at school or college or work or something like that. So I'm super, super excited. The other guys are so excited as well. So tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. Obviously we're gonna be tweeting about it. Amity Fest, there's links down below, amityfest.com and grab a ticket and come and see us. It is gonna be so awesome. There's VIP tickets and everything so you can meet us, so you can hang out with us and it's gonna be good. Right, back to the vlog. Right, I'm all dressed now. Let me quickly show you in the mirror what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing a plain white t-shirt. It's cool, it's got like a little, like it looks like it's inside out kind of. Um, some jeans that are rolled up and then my like paint splattery shoes. And my hair's just like to the side a little bit fluffy. And then now I'm gonna go grab some breakfast because my stomach is like gro groaning. Look at this crazy view. Oh look, there's the BBC building whilst I wait for my lift. That's, oh. <laughs> and another BBC building. This is my breakfast. Everything I'm getting is so that I can't spill it on myself. I'm just trying to see if you will run Guys, I'm getting nervous now. It's like 14 minutes till I go on and I'm just watching it on the TV up here. And um, they just play a little clip of me and Joey doing yoga. I'm scared. What do you think? You'll be fine, Alfie. You'll be absolutely fine. Guys, I'm nervous You're now. You're really good. Don't be nervous. It's because it's live. Like, live TV. I'm scared. Guys, just one minute until I go on. I'm literally so nervous. My hands are like, ooh, sweaty. Oh my god. There's seven million people that watch this live a day. The biggest live show I've ever done on you now is 36,000. Oh my god. Amazon charts, and he was mobbed at a recent book signing in London. Alfie Days is one of the most popular vloggers in the UK. So, let's start at the beginning. If you haven't heard of vlogging, it's the video blogging. <laughs> He's going to explain it to me in a minute. I do know what it is. Increasingly popular among teenagers and young people, Alfie dropped out of university to continue doing after his YouTube videos about virtually anything became so successful he decided to make a career. Uh, we'll talk to you in a minute, Alfie. Yeah. <laughs> Should we have a little look at what, what he does and then we'll talk to him about yeah. it afterwards? Okay. What's up, guys? Look who I'm with! What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? So, Alfie, very good morning. Very good morning to you. Thank you. Um, I watched quite a few of these videos this morning. How did it start, first of all? So I've watched YouTube for like years and years now, and then back in 2009, I was like, I might give it a go myself. Like, I've got to know all these people online that I wouldn't know without YouTube being there. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to see whether I could like make friends and get people to know me who wouldn't get to know me without it. 
And when did you realise you were onto something? As in, that people wanted to kind of watch you more than just your mates. More yeah, than just well, when I put my first video, it got like 100 views, and I was like, oh my God, this is like crazy, this is insane. But then I realised that it probably just like my mum and me watching it again, but it's just grown and grown. And grown to something quite yeah. staggering, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, so, so it's kind of like, I suppose, what, it's your own TV channel, is that what it is? And you occasionally put things up there. It's How kind does it of, work? yeah. So it's like a page on YouTube, and then I can upload videos whenever I want to it. Yeah. and upload probably about 10 videos a week at the moment. And just give people a sense at home, how many people watch those videos? Uh, and like you can be more Last good. month was like 37 million. <laughs> so you see a TV channel <laughs> yeah. would be really happy with those figures. Yeah, it's insane. And it, essentially, I mean, that, that brief clip, I know you do all sorts of things, but you're kind of goofing around. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, is, is that unfair? Is no, that... I think, no, no, I think that's what people like about it, is that I'm just like a normal person, I'm not and anything special I'm just like them and I just have a bit of fun and make make a fool of myself and just mess about how do the ideas come up probably in the shower or when I can't sleep and I like laying in bed and one of my favorites is with your mum yeah who obviously um, knows a lot you know she, she's kind of you know she understands what you're talking about yeah, doesn't she really she? likes it she really likes it so you've also got the, the book out now haven't you and, yeah. and the book in a funny kind of way looking through it it's quite old-fashioned. Yeah. I mean, you know, th it's sort of things to do, uh, and like, you know, join the dots. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I thought. The idea behind it was because with my YouTube channel, I make so many, like, memories, and I save so much, like, so many moments of my life, and I thought it'd be cool for people to have something to fill out themselves and look back on and laugh at and... Are you laughing at yourself? Because you call it, it's the pointless <laughs> yeah. book, it's the, po the pointless book. Yeah. Is that what you're doing as yeah, well? Yeah, it's just like a bit of fun that you don't have to tune into, you don't have to watch, you don't have to do, but it's there if you want it. Now, I, without wishing to bring in a kind of cynical money head into all yeah. this, there will be people thinking, because we've seen stories like this before where, you know, yeah. younger people come up with amazing ideas, and lo and behold, they become millionaires because there's a fight. There must, what's the what's the kind of money side of all this? What, how does that work? Just explain. So to it's us. basically once you get like a certain amount of views on YouTube, you're accepted for like a revenue split with Google, and they give you like a little bit of money, and they take a little bit of money. Advertising revenue. Yeah, and um, there's like an advert that pops up when you watch a video. Right. Um, and I'm lucky enough that it yeah it pays the bills, which is amazing because it just lets me put, be able to put in like full time hours into doing what I love. Okay, and what's Which about? I mean, for, for example, one of the one of the videos. How long does that take you to do it? Um, just presume, it, it can vary a lot. Sometimes it will take like a few days, and sometimes it can maybe take like five or six hours. Um, yeah, but it depends on what you're making. Okay, um, and we, I just want to give people a sense as well of um, your book signing. <laughs> <laughs> Were you sort of impressed by the amount of people who turned up? <laughs> There's something I notice about these young. They're young ladies, aren't they? Yeah. Is that mostly your fan base? The, yeah, the, the majority of the viewers are between like 18 and 24, um, but then obviously they're a very like, big audience of very keen young females. They really are. How conscious are you? I mean, I'm, I'm sort of mindful of that watching this. How conscious are you of, of how much of your, your private life you put into what you do? Because is, is there a line you want to draw? Because we often, we often warn people about yeah. putting too much of themselves on social media things. I just wonder where, how, you, how do you play that game? I've kind of gotten past that. I, n I now film every day of my life and put that so up on everything's YouTube out as well. There. Every so single day, the book. next day, my life is up online. So there's like, I got asked the other day, can you tell us something that nobody knows? And I was like, I can't think of anything. <laughs> Actually not. Like, I literally can't think of anything. And that which I think is good because then it reflects like the true me online, yeah. which is always nice. And it's not like a character. Very brave thing to do. But yeah, it's scary. Obviously there are moments like, if I hurt myself, I'm not going to film it and put it online because I might be upset or something, but more or less everything, yeah. <laughs> Alfie, it's good to talk to you. Thank you very Thank much. You so and much. Alfie's book is called The Pointless Book. Is that right now? That was so much fun, guys. Oh my god, like beforehand, I know I vlogged it so you could see, but you probably couldn't see how nervous I actually was. Like, I was literally. I felt sick. I've never done TV before, never done like live TV before, especially. Seven million people were watching. I was so, so nervous, but I think it went all good. I think it went really, really well. It felt okay. Well, as soon as I walked in the room, they were both so, like Louise and Charlie, were both so welcoming and so friendly to me. And they were just like, oh yeah, we watch your videos, this, this. Oh, I love the one with your mum. And they were like, chatting about it. How is it going? Did you go to uni? And all just like chatting, really, really nice stuff. Um, and we had a couple of minutes talking and just sitting down together and then we went obviously live and they're like 
they're so awesome at their job. They are so awesome. It literally made me feel so comfortable. And I obviously, I always forget that whenever you're in the room, like, with TV kind of studios, I've been before, I've never been on them, but I've, like, seen next to them how they work and things before. Um, there's not many people in the room. So in that studio, it's hard to believe that there is only, like, three other people. So there's the two presenters, then there's, like, somebody with a headphone on, another with a headphone on, and I don't, I don't even think there's a cameraman, you know, I think it's all robotic. Like, you go in the room, and it's like, nobody's there, so you don't even feel nervous or scared, because there's just like, nobody there. It's so awesome, so, that was just crazy. My first ever TV experience, on like, the biggest TV show that freaking is. Wow, that was insane. I'm now at Manchester train station, and it is quarter to ten, still so early. Normally I probably would just be waking up by now, and I've already been on live TV. I'm gonna go back to London, and I don't know what, I do, what I'm gonna do when I get to London. So, I'm gonna have to think up something fun. Maybe I'll get in touch with somebody and like hang out with some other, some other YouTuber or something like that. So, we'll have to see. Guys, look, it's like The Simpsons. Just got off the train for two and a half hours and then back in London, but now I've just been texting Steve. It's currently 20 past 12, I've been texting Steve and I'm gonna go meet with him. So, I've got to jump on the tube now and then get another train and go and hang out with him. So I just got to the station now where Steve lives finally here, no more travelling for today and I'm um, just going to wait for him to come and pick me up, which is all good, but he's one of those people kind of like me that is always late, but he is worse than me. Steve, if you're watching, man, you are a long head. Um, it is currently 18 minutes past one. Let's see how long it takes him to get here. He told me to tell him when he was like, when I was 15 minutes away and I did, so let's see. Just had an update from Steve, I don't know if you can see it, it says, bro, I've lost my keys, and then he texts me again saying, I'm on my way now, are you there yet? Steve, man, can you update us on the exact time? Uh, it's 1.37. 1.37. You guys can do the maths. I'm so they sorry. I've lost my keys. I told them the time when I got here to be like, right, let's see how long Steve takes. I actually lost my keys. I did. No, you did not They were in the dog's bed for some reason. <laughs> they were. That's where I found them. I was going nuts. I couldn't find them. Just got to a little cafe now with Steve called Local Hero. Look at the... <laughs> you make me laugh, man. <laughs> Look at this. Can you do this? I'm learning actually at the moment. It's very Can hard. You? Steve needed some milk yesterday and just ran around the corner to a shop <laughs> and is now walking like this. <laughs> no, joke, guys. He went on a on a run yesterday. When was the last one you ran before? Oh, long, long time ago. Yeah? Long time ago, yeah. I literally... I don't even so want to sore. think about running. And he's now like, hobbling along. <laughs> Are we heading back to yours now? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna head back to Steve's. Oh, I need to edit the daily vlog and upload it. Okay. But he's having some food, aren't you? <laughs> She's loving it. And yeah. um, we just, we're watching back my interview from this morning. I'm excited, here we go. Have you seen it at all? No, I Wait, I'm it. so nervous, man. At a recent book signing in London, Alfie Days is one of the most popular vloggers in the UK. So, let's start at the beginning. If you haven't heard of vlogging, it's the video blogging. <laughs> He's going to explain it to me in a minute. I do know what it is. Who's that guy? Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Guys, I cannot wait. Look at her. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah? You want to go for a walk? Should we go for a walk? Should we go for a walk? Yeah? Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Yes? <laughs> I cannot wait to get a pug. Bro, there's gonna be though all dogs. Are they gonna be best friends? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Also, all dogs react like that. They love going for a walk. Can you put her in your car? Yeah. You can. Yeah. Bring her to Brighton. Definitely. And then I'll bring my pug up here as well. Definitely. Once I've passed my driving lessons. Which is like tomorrow. Soon. Don't say tomorrow. These guys are gonna believe you. <laughs> Soon. Look how good Bay is. Ready, baby? Go fetch it. Oi, do you own a horse? Look at that catch. Oh, I missed it. Come on, mate! Come on, mate! I imagine now if she just didn't stop, just took you out. She's so good. Wow. Oi, it's been good, man. Mate, yeah. It's been short but sweet. Yeah, it, <laughs> it is. Every single time me and Steve hang out, it's always such rush. I'm like, man, I've got to get trained. I've got to get back. I've got to go and do this. And Steve's like, oh my God, I'm so busy. I've got to do this. <laughs> so we're going to hang out soon, aren't we? Definitely. We are thinking 
the day after my birthday, that is this Thursday. Yeah. We're going to hang out. We're going to get Louis, Louis lands that morning. Pick Hope him he's up. not tired. Pick him up. We're going on a bit of an adventure. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I'll see Definitely. you in a bit. Cool, man. Safe trip. So I just got to London Waterloo Station now, and I'm about to jump in a taxi, which I've just ordered, to go to Zoe's hotel, because I'm going to stay in the hotel with her tonight, Four, which will two, be nice, because last night I slept by myself. Southwest. Look how awesomely massive this room is, and there's a bath down there in the floor. I kind of got a lot of McDonald's for us, because for some reason, Zoe said this hotel doesn't do uh, room service, which is strange. So, the only option was either this or burrito from the train station, and we opted for this. Did you have a good day today? Yeah? Is this yummy? Mm. No, no, Zoe. How are you going to get up in the morning? What do you mean? You said, describe how you're going to get up in the morning. Bat. Why are you going to get up like a bat? Because I don't really sleep at night. Are you not going to sleep? You're not going to sleep tonight? Yeah, I really want to. Then what are you going to get up like? Um, badger. A badger? Is that what you said? Pardon? I don't know. I was going to say balamori, but that's not an animal. That's not an animal, is it? Mm. Are you going to sleep now? Say goodnight. Goodnight. Right, guys, you can't see me because it's pitch black in here. But I'm going to sleep now. Thanks so much for following me around today. Thanks for all the support on BBC Breakfast, on Radio 1, 3 million subscribers, everything recently. You guys make me so happy. Like, oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much for everything. This is weird blogging, knowing that you can't even see me at all. Um, but I love you guys so much. Like, honestly, you watching this right now means so, so much to me. So keep doing what you're doing. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm showing my thumb. But you can't see it because it's pitch black. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you. Oh, I don't even need to put my hand over the camera at the end because it's already dark. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Night, guys. Still put my hand over the camera.